सो गाइज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ याप एंड्रॉइड फिफ्टीन for Realme RM 6.5 devices and if you did not watch the installation and first look for Android 15 then you can check out this video or the video will be linked in the description make sure to check that out so first of all let's start with the benchmark scores and starting with the antutu in antutu i got 368934 and this is all default performance i did not use any kind of performance mods talking about the geekbench score if i go to history you can see the single core score is 674 and the multi core score is 1680 and again this was the default performance of the rom i did not use any performance mods now talking about the cpu throttling test let me show you the screenshot so in the screenshot you can see this is the default performance of this rom if i show you closely you can see the graph is pretty much stable but in the end there was some fluctuations but if you use any mods like performance script or the modes added in the Sionic lab which is this one if you only use the performance mode to performance and disable the thermal services you will get a performance like this you can see how stable it is after only adjusting one settings i got this much performance so these were the results of three benchmark applications now the next thing is battery backup and sot so in this rom i got around 4.5 hours of screen on time with my 70% battery health so if you have a newer device then you will definitely have more battery backup than me now talking about the bluetooth and audio test let me connect to the TWS and you can see there is no problem connecting the TWS and it is definitely working fine now talking about the QS panel the QS panel looks like this it's the typical android 14 QS panel but it's actually android 15 i mean there is no difference and we get some extra tiles because of sionic lab like the cpu governor thermal services etc and talking about the volume panel the ponyu panel looks like this and this is the new android 15 volume panel you get the controls like this and you can directly switch to any other output and you can turn on live caption from here if you go to settings you will be redirected to this menu where you can adjust the settings now talking about the app opening smoothness the rom is made by official pewtwit so the app opening and closing speed is really good and when i quickly open the app again after closing the response is not there you have to give some time before the animation ends then you will be able to open the app again now talking about the android 15 app pair you can add any apps to pair like this you can see i have added google keep notes and the settings and if i go to home i can reopen the app and when i click here you can see we have an option called save app pair so when i save the pair both these apps will be opened so let me close them and show you so you can see both this app opens at the same time and you can also remove it like this so this is how app pair works and this will only work on the apps which supports the split screen so if i show with the google files and settings you can see it's working and again if i save the app pair it will be added in the home screen and the app pair works like this so this is the new feature of android 15 the app pair now talking about the camera features of yap android 15 we get the lineage camera as the default camera of this rom and as i shown in previous video all the modes are working except 60 fps recording just like other roms it's not there now talking about the audio features we get the dolby atmos in this rom you can see we have the moto dolby audio and you can set any audio device and add any audio device and use any custom settings like you can see here if i click on custom you get this menu where you can set each and every options and this needs a headset you don't get that much options for mobile speaker talking about the drm info app in the drm info you can see we have security level l3 so currently android 15 is on beta state that's why we may not get l1 for most of the android 15 apps so in this rom we don't get l1 certification we have l3 now talking about the root section you don't have to root this rom because in this rom we get the kernel issue support where you can use the root by kernel and you can grant the root access to any applications like termux and you can also use modules like here i am using kf mark enabler and pubg fps unlocker and both of them are working fine now talking about the app archive feature the app archive feature works like this so if you go to app info 
and you get all the information right here and when you click on archive the app will be uninstalled but the data will be remained so when i click on it the app will be downloaded and make sure you are connected to the internet and the app will be downloaded and installed directly and when you open it you can see there is no setup so this is how it works and if i show another example for example if i type anything the gemini will answer and now if i uninstall the gemini i mean click on archive you can see the app is archived that means it is uninstalled when i click on it again it gets installed and you can see it saved the state i did not have any setup screen for this application like i did not have to grant the notification access and the other settings so this is how the android 15 app archive feature works now talking about the wallpaper menu the wallpaper menu is different in android 15 if i show you and when i click on it it shows the preview both for lock screen and home screen and the ui is pretty different from android 14 and you can preview like this and you can also set the wallpaper so this is how the new wallpaper menu is and you get the color contrast right here where you can customize the contrast of the text and you can turn on high contrast text and the contrast will be higher and you can clearly see the difference and you get the themed icons and the themed icon gets applied in the home screen not in the app drawer and we get some more options similar to android 14 like icon font shape etc now talking about the call recording for call recording you have to connect to a call but before that make sure to open bcr and set the output directory so when i change the directory you can go to your desired folder where you can save your call recordings so i will use the recording folder and you can also change the output format m4a aac is recommended and you can set any bitrate now if i call someone so the sim card that is being used in this phone is out of service that's why the call is not being connected but when the call is connected the recording will automatically start so there is no issue about call recording you get that in this room now talking about the fingerprint for some devices the fingerprint icon is not here i mean where the fingerprint is but for our device that is basically fixed so when i go to fingerprint and show you the menu and add fingerprint you can see the indicator is in the correct position so the android 15 is basically optimized for realme rm685 devices by our well-known developer official view to it and the fingerprint feature is working fluently talking about the boot animation let me reboot and show you so i will click on advanced and system you get the default splash screen of realme and you get the yap boot animation it's not of google pixel you get the yap animation and it is really fast you can see and guys one thing i really want to show you is the offline charging that you get in this room you can see the device is switched off now when i connect the charger you get this screen but after that wait and watch what you get you can see this is the offline charging menu that you get in this ROM and it looks cool and this is really useful because when the device is fully discharged you can turn off the device and charge it to 100% and use it and the screen will be turned off resulting no effect to the device temperature now let me turn it on and guys talking about the lock screen UI the lock screen UI is very similar to Android 14 and when you pull it up you can see it's identical to android 14 so for this beta update there is no major change compared to android 14 however at least we have android 15 that's enough now talking about the payment apps we get the play store certification and the safety net both are working you can see the device is certified and when i show you the yasnak or safety net you can see the basic integrity and cts profile is passed that means there is there is no issue about payment apps and even when i open the google pay you can see there is no error and also for phone pay there is no error and all banking apps will work without any issue and guys this was the part two of the review of yap android 15 for realme rm685 device Devices that includes Realme 6, 6i, Realme 7, Narzo 20 Pro and Narzo 30 4G. And without further ado, let's get to the gaming review. So guys, I turned on my ceiling fan so you may get some noise. But I had to turn it on because the device gets hot when I do gaming. And I have 4GB RAM variant. 
that's why the temperature increases so fast now without further ado let's get to the gaming review and guys the the cape mark is not working because when i click on run it does not allow the application to display over other apps you can see this is an android 15 security feature so i cannot use this and let's open the vgmi and talking about the extra features we don't get unlimited google photo storage and also unlock higher fps in games feature that's why i am using a module which is pubg m fps unlocker and now when i open the vgmi you can see the graphic settings that i get after flashing the module so guys you can see in smooth i get extreme plus but in balanced hd we get up to high but in balanced hd we get up to high for fps meter we don't have any application so guys we have only this option to turn on the fps info in the sionic lab and the fps is displayed in the left corner and that is not visible when i am firing and i will also attach a gameplay using scr cpi screen mirroring which does not require resources from the smartphone but when it is set on 90 fps let's let's see how much fps it gives so let me start the arena training and you can see it is giving 60 fps so 90 fps cannot be unlocked on android 15 for any device until it's on beta i also tested this on redmi note 10 pro but it is giving 60 fps even after unlocking 90 and 120 fps you can see currently it is giving around 60 fps and the fps meter is not that accurate because i can see lags during the gameplay but it's stuck on 59 but if you have 6 gb ram variant then you will definitely get better performance than me so you can see there is lags so i will use some features from sionic lab so let me just open it and then set the performance mode to performance and disable the thermal services and only if you do these two settings the performance will be improved a lot let me just show you so when they are turned on you can see the fps meter also started working and it is giving strong 59 fps and i again think this is struck but no it's working after enabling the performance mode so guys the gaming is good if you use performance modes but in default performance the gaming is not good although i have 4 gb ram variant you may get better performance if you have 6 gb ram but after you complete the gaming make sure to set this to balance otherwise your battery will be drained to 0% really soon so yeah this is it for the gaming review and overview part 2 for yap android 15 for realme rm 65 devices i hope you like this video if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel because i upload regular contents like this so i will see you in the next one bye bye